All right, you guys. Unfortunately, this is probably not going to be a very large video um, because my batteries are almost down. And I do want to keep some type of um, communication while I am out here. So this, this place isn't really far away from my house. Um, honestly, it probably took us five minutes to get here by car. Um, but there's no one out here. It is so quiet. But um, it's a nice little trail. So I might sell some bugs for you on if I know I'm not needed. I work on crate till stopping every five seconds. They're doing pretty well. Definitely corrections need to need it because they need to, um, they constantly have this need to stop and sniff. I want them to walk. That's it. So it is incredibly quiet out here. However, I did not bring the e-collar, so I will not be letting them off leash. Um, so this is going to be our life. Honestly, this, this rope's not really long enough for me to walk them in front of me like this. So I'm trying to keep them on one side of me. So they're doing fairly well. I mean, like I said, this is not the way I usually walk them. But for me walking this one this way, they're doing really well. Honestly, the most trouble I have is just not kicking their feet with my feet. As like I said, this, this leash is not very large. And don't get wrong, they are pulling. Let's go. Um, but they're not doing a whole bunch of it. So we are going to stay on this trail. So there's a lot of back biking paths. This is like a mountain back. A mountain back. <laughs> a mountain bike trail as well. Let's go. So, um, so yeah, it is incredibly quiet out here. Like, the last time I went out here, it was earlier in the fall. On the fall, early in the spring, so it's a bit chillier, chillier out here. It was a weekend. And I saw, like, oh my gosh, I saw maybe four people here. Ew, let's go. Yeah, sorry, this, these leads aren't the best because I keep getting wrapped up in them because somebody is doing the most. But these leads, they just, they don't allow enough space for the dogs to walk in front of me, which is the point of these. But that creates an issue when, um, you know, I'm stepping on the back of their heels, or keeping back of their heels. Nope, stay on that side. Nope, stay on that side. <sighs> and um, they can't really get away from me, which is why I want them on the side of me like this. So, but anyway, y'all. Uh, so we're just gonna be walking along. Honestly, I'll, I'll record as much as I can until I get the warning from the battery. But then, like I said, I definitely want to definitely want to um, save some batteries because it is really quiet out here actually down that way you guys can't see because there's growth now but there's like homes so if I scream somebody will hear me from here and in front of us I don't know if we'll see it when we pass this corner or these couple corners I think but there's like some businesses I don't know I have my dogs with me so yeah so no e-collar so no off leash but maybe if it's always this quiet we'll try it and then I said it's not a very big trail, um, like, like not that I've walked it myself, but just based on the map and where it's located, it's not a very big trail. It's just like a little patch of grass of uh, trees. You don't want to keep up? Oh, jeez. So yeah, they're doing really well. Honestly, it cooled off. I mean, it's really cloudy out, so, but compared to this morning, it's a lot cooler. I right, not necessarily this morning, but earlier today. It's about five o'clock right now. <sighs> so all we're about to do is walk this trail, get back to the car. We want to be out here, I want to say an hour, but we'll see how everything goes. I mean, like I said, it's real quiet, but you never know what can happen out here. So um, we have water. You know, we're, we're pretty good. I said it's not a big area, so I'm not really worried about needing anything else. Um, but yeah. Good geez, sorry. Make sure I put plenty of bug spray on. Nothing to see the path in front of us. So like I said, this is our first time taking this pathway. So I've heard that there's deer on this path. Honestly, I heard that was quiet, but I didn't know it was going to be this quiet. Which, you know, I'm pretty, pretty fine with. 
But uh, watch yourselves. Right, just a little bit of pulling. But yeah, like, through those trees, you might be able to see like some like cars and stuff. So yeah, so it's not a very big expanse of wilderness, but honestly, we're not really ready for that. I mean, me and Jack will probably be okay doing that because, like I said, she's basically full grown. She's young, but she's not growing anymore. Um, little boy here though, he's got a lot more growing to do, so his joints and stuff are a bit more malleable. You know, he can definitely hurt himself a bit more by doing too much. I don't know if you guys can see. Kind of see a little bit of back over there with the cars and stuff, but um, but yeah. So we're just gonna walk until we've been out here for about 30 minutes, and then we'll walk back. Cause I don't know if the path is so small to where I can kind of do the whole path and get back to where get back to where is that a field. Oh, wait, what are those? Those are animals. Is this a farmland? Oh, you guys can't see it, it was through the trees. Oh, look! I don't know if you guys can see, but those are horses over there. Yeah, you guys can't see. <coughs> but there are horses over there. But I do know there's some deer out here. Um, don't know what else is out here. I haven't seen, I haven't been really looking. But I feel like there's either goose cat, a goose poop, or um, coyote poop. You know, they're talking about geese poop like grown men out here. Yeah, they're doing really well, so I'm very proud of them right now. So I guess I could talk a bit about their training until my, my battery decides to... Well, I'm not going to wait until wait my battery tur completely turns off because I can't aim out in the wilderness. But I will kind of record as much as I can. Sorry, I always promise that I'm going to... Um, that I'm going to... Um, oh, we're going out here. Wait a minute. Is, can I park over here the whole time? Good jeez, I parked on the street somewhere, y'all. Um, oh man, this is like the end. <laughs> I guess I could show you guys the horses. Ah, let's keep it moving. Oh, that kind of sucks. Like, I'm not going off trail. Like, they have these little bike paths that you guys see here. That's going that way. Not going that way. <laughs> not going that way. We're gonna steal to the trail if possible. Okay, let me just see what's out here. So yeah, so there's the horses that I was seeing through the fence. It's the first time they're seeing horses. But I'm pretty sure it's a private property. <laughs> um, no trespassers. Those are gorgeous. Like, the ideal of having a horse is like, oh yeah, I totally want to do that, but in practice it's a totally different thing. It's there a lot of work. Anyway, y'all, I guess we're going back already. Well, this is really short. Maybe one day I'll be brave enough to take, uh, Take them down one of these bike paths, but that day is not today. All right, so we gonna walk back. Come on, let's go. They're checking out the horses, which is totally fine. Horses are new things for both of them. Ah, let's go. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. But we're headed back. Yeah, that's not, not not a bad path. I feel like it probably does pick up somewhere else, but we're not about to explore near private property. It's like that. That's probably that might be coyote stuff but it could be fox stuff so that right there that you just heard that is Kratos's collar because he wants to pull try to sniff everything doesn't realize that that is not allowed you do not get to stop on a walk <coughs> <coughs> more so when I'm actually doing like heel work which I'm not doing heel work now but still anyway y'all uh, so yeah also another reason why I want to stay on the trip the path is because the babies haven't had their most recent dose of flea and tick stuff so he keeps trying to get over so I'm watching him um basically our bed is changing to something different so that's supposed to last longer you know kind of do more stuff I think it's supposed to be like flea tick and heartworm and any of you guys who have pets that are regularly on the heartworm stuff you'll know that the heartworm is separate from the flea and tick stuff so apparently it's something that does everything that they're switching off to which is really cool but we haven't been around to actually get that dose <laughs> Excuse me, big y'all. Um, so, but we will do that soon. Don't know when, but soon. I do need to schedule an appointment for Kratos anyway because I need to get microchipped. Super important because I cannot keep a uh, caller identification on him. 
And then of course, if anything happens to where, um, you know, somebody steals him, I do want to have that there because they can take the collar off really quickly. Um, huh. So we need to make that appointment soon for sure. But like I said, finances are a bit weird. So we want, we want to keep a decent amount of money in our account <laughs> until we, um, until we are able to kind of make expenses like that. But flea and tick is definitely going to be sooner than that. So anyway, y'all. Wow, that trail was super boring. I thought that was going to be walking forever. <laughs> I actually was out here before and I stopped kind of right before that bend right there. Like I didn't even get to see down here because I thought that it was going to go further and I didn't want to walk that far. I'd already been with Jack a different way. So uh, we went another way, which maybe I'll try to go that way next time or when we get back from that end. No, nope. keep it over here. But, um, Generally speaking, that was a bike trail that we went on. And I particularly chose that because they had little kind of bridges across water that were really, they're not, it's not like a bridge that we started on that was across water. It was like like a small bridge built for like a bike. <laughs> so very thin. Um, sorry, I'm trying to take this over here because he's playing full of snow, which is not gonna happen. Boy, it's very stubborn. That is a it could be a child. That's probably a bird. Oh, she got you right under the boots. Ah, no, no, no. Keep it moving. Sorry, that was definitely because like, they're trying to follow me. So if I make the slightest bit of a turn, they're trying to go ahead and turn that way as well. And so I had to stop to correct their behavior, just gave them the wrong, the wrong uh, ideal of where we're going. <laughs> so, but it's fine. They'll learn. Like I said, I'll probably try to work, walk them like this. Um, for trails like this that are not, you know, where I can walk them off leash. Um, like I said, I probably could do it, but like my concern, so I have two concerns, right? And they're kind of related. Oh, my shoe is untied. I'm not gonna worry about it though. I literally tied these shoes before I even got in the car. Um, up. Oh, okay, just stop me for a little scratch. So I guess I can stop with my shoes. Oof. Sorry, I wanna have to put them underneath my shoe. Oof, sorry. Baddie boy. Oof. There we go. Yeah, those are. Hi, Mrs. Can I? Can I? Can I? Cray tilt. No, 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 no. Little boy, come here right now. Sorry, his thing slipped. I need to put him under my other shoe. <coughs> so I'm working with this shoe. I don't know how I'm about to do this with one hand. I'm about to do it. Look, you guys. I love you guys. Kisses are great. I'm trying to tie my shoe. What? Up. Oh. All right. I'm sorry you guys have to see this, but I got my warning with the battery. So even though I'm not done tying my shoe yet, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this video off. Um, I might get a little clips of we coming up to something cool, but otherwise, talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, you guys. We're back. Um, don't mind Kratos, he's eating the wildlife. I don't know, the wild roam stuff. So this bridge right here is the bridge I was talking about where, well, she's not. There's another one that's actually very close to the water. Like you basically step off of it and into the water, but it looks like there's no water around here. Like before it was just like the snow had just melted. So um, there was like fresh runoff from whatever. And the point is, is that we are about to cross this bridge. Sorry, I really need two hands because Kratos has been being a butt lately just with all the pulling. Uh, since the last cut of the video, um, we passed one person on the bike. They did a little bit of barking, which I, I didn't correct. Well, I did correct after they did for too long. Um, would you stop? Dude, stay on one side. Um, and then we passed a couple kids and Kratos didn't notice because he was too busy being nosy doing stuff, other stuff. Jack did notice, but luckily this collar does really well with corrections. And she she did try it like four times, but then eventually she gave up. So anyway, y'all, we are about to do this. All right, let's go. This is gonna be a bit hard because it's a steep incline. I'm not gonna let them pull me down it. Okay, keep it walking. If it was up an incline, that's different. They can pull me up that, but don't pull me down stuff, y'all. Come on over here. Straight ahead. Okay, 
Jack doing the most. That there's still no pulling. See, that's the thing. They gotta watch their feet. Hey, enough. So I'm not sure what she's so excited about. And Kato's trying to go underneath it. Come on, get back up here. So I'm gonna keep moving. But I get that she wants to get across it, but there's a way to do it. Woo! Tim Booty, come back up here. Oh, hold on, y'all. This is the Martingale, so he did not rest the choke himself, but still. Hold on. Jack, sit. Sit. Stay. Okay, we're just gonna move back up this way and drag him back on up. Ah, ah, Jack, sit. Sit. Good girl. Good boy. Now come on this way. Come on this way. Okay. So, I'm very nervous about it. Sorry for this awkward angle. So I am gonna let Jack walk across it herself. Ah, 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 Jack, forward. Okay, I'm gonna go. There you go. There she goes. Good girl. Good girl, mama. Good girl. Come on, Tunes. Get her moving. Good girl. Come on, Tunes. Good boy. Good boy, man. Watch your good boy. Ah, 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 Jack, get back over here, mamas. She's like, I'm just following the trail. Okay, y'all. Oh with my foot. Um, they did good. I don't see anything else. Like I said, some of this used to be water before. <sighs> we're gonna walk around a little bit longer than we're gonna head out. Um, I've got a big dinner for me planned, which I'm super excited about. Um, but, and also, like, we've been out here for not a long time, not as long as I wanted to be out here, but long enough to where, you know, the babies are thoroughly tired. I'll probably still do a playtime because we haven't been out here a, a long time, but you see, they're panting. They're fairly tired, so. Anyway, y'all, um, let me get these, be these babies back in order. Talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, guys, we are back home. Uh, uh, you better not. So basically, I'm about to run up all the battery I possibly can. Well, I, I'm not trying to, but you know, basically, since I am home, that is what I'm allowed to do. All right, out. The little boy is so tired. Sorry, I gotta grab their, their collars and leashes and this bag that I did not take in the house the other day and I probably should have. I don't know why y'all came back. Come on now. So basically, I am gonna let them outside for a little bit. Uh, first, use the bathroom because oh, they have not did that. I don't know if he's gonna, yep. Well, let's do it that bee. Look, I don't care about bumblebees, right? Bumblebees are my friends. Look, Jack, we're not going back. Come on. She's like, let me make sure you ah, 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 out. Uh, we are not going back in here today. Tomorrow, we can talk about tomorrow. It's not tomorrow yet. I actually don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow because tomorrow I need to go to the bank possibly twice, one in the morning and one right before they close. I also need to mow the lawn, which that will happen in the morning. Um, but I do kind of want to go on another walk with them. Like the thing is, like the beach is going to be really packed and real. There's going to be a lot of people there, so it'll be ideal for socialization. But honestly, they don't get a lot of exercise. I mean, it's stimulation, which will definitely make them tired for sure. But I particularly, I want to go out and walk. Like that's what I want to do. So, and we've already tried two trails, so I might actually fi find another one, and we'll we might hit that place up. But I have to actually research that because I have no clue where that would be. Tune in bonus. Okay, actually, one of the things I want to do immediately right now, since I am going to let them kind of chill outside for a minute. Honestly, they're not looking. <laughs> okay, first of all, I got 10% battery left. You know, we're just going to go inside. I was going to um, hang out here for a while until my battery died and let them play and stuff. But they're not doing the, the play thing I was just talking about. I actually expect Kratos to either lay down somewhere or poop. Or, you know, both. Not necessarily at the same time, though. Hi, baby. I know. I got one hand I'm using to kind of put some stuff up. I'm trying to make this easy for me because I need to get all this stuff. Okay. Oh my gosh. The kisses. I'm being attacked for kisses. <laughs> you guys are real rude. They're literally the same thing that happened. Okay, y'all gonna play now? Okay. Okay. Oh, we really need to get, I don't know why, but bees just like being over here, you guys. And those are the big fat honeybees, which are real scary, but I'm also okay with them because 
I, I like honey. So <laughs> honestly, if I could choose two bugs to live in the world, it would only be the ants and because ants they clean up stuff, right? They they clean up they clean up my my environment. Um, it'd be ants. It'll be certain type of ants. Looks you know they have the really funny looking ants that live in certain places that look real scary. No, we ain't trying to deal with those. But ants, um, most kind of the general type of ants. I know there's different ones, but you know the general ants I don't mind. Um, and then the bumblebees. All the rest of the stuff they can go elsewhere. I like the bumblebees can just populate and pollinate all the everything and not need help from other insects. You know we can we can work it out. We can work it out. But all the other bugs, including anything with more than four legs, they they gotta go. We they can't be around. Still only bees and ants, y'all. Poor, poor poor tired babies. I love that if you guys are tired. But my special dinner tonight is crab legs. I absolutely love crab legs, and I haven't had crab legs in a long time. So I splurged a bit. Um, I probably should have waited until I was a bit more financially stable, but I went ahead and bought me some, some crab legs from um, my local Jewels. It's like a grocery store. Um, I don't know, like, I've only seen... So Schnooks, I don't know if you guys know what Schnooks is, but if you guys do know what Schnooks is, Jewels is like the North Illinois version of Schnooks. And I think Schnooks might just be a Missouri thing, but we had Schnooks really uh, in my 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 town that I grew up, well, I not grew up in, but I went to high school at, which is Old Fallon, Illinois. We had Schnooks around there. Um, we also had a Schnooks in Champaign. But yeah, Jules is kind of the north, northern Illinois grocery store. There are probably other places, but that's like the only place I've been where I've seen Jules. But yeah, they're like a high-end grocery store. Kind of a high-end grocery store. I don't know if you consider it high-end grocery stores. <coughs> oh, pretty boy. About ready to go inside. Oh, I'm tired. Babe is... Oh, tired babies. Alrighty. I'm glad that they tire each other out. I honestly, like I said, I'm glad that this tires them out because, um, honestly, that was a short walk. Like, to be honest, I want to go on, like, two, three hour walks with, uh, my dogs. Kratos is not ready for that. Jack possibly is. Um, she does tend to pant quicker than Kratos. Oh, for the sleepy baby. But, um, she always has, she's, she's back with the energy quicker than him at the moment. Um, she always doesn't want. Like, honestly, when training starts, I will have to run around the treadmill for certain because she's just going to be a menace. Um, but anyway. Anyway, y'all. So, I'm glad you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I do like to get those videos because those are the videos that I like to watch. I like to watch people walk their multiple dogs um, or just go hiking with their dogs on leaf, off leash. I don't care. I like seeing that stuff. So, I'll try to get more videos of that, especially this weekend. Um, but my babies are tired. So, we're going to go inside. I'm going to put my crab legs on. I'm going to take a shower. You know, we're going to relax the rest of the night. So, uh, thanks for joining us on this walk today, you guys. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, sleepy baby. Sorry, I'm trying to turn my phone off with one finger.